Well, most of our deceased loved ones are laid to rest in cemeteries. And when we leave something special at the grave, we hope it'll stay there. But one Chesapeake widow says someone is stealing hers. So she called Ten of Your Sides and McNamara for help. And what exactly are they taking? Nicole, 11 times in the last year and a half, Denise Walton has left a decorative piece on her husband's grave and it's disappeared. She's sure the items were within the cemetery rules and she's sure they weren't taken by the wind. So Walton wants the funeral home that owns that cemetery to do something to stop the heartless thieves. Drive safe, Denise Walton told us before she hung up the phone. She knows the pain a sudden accident can cause. It was going a little fast and he lost control and hit a couple things and died on impact. Her husband of 30 years died in a crash in 2011. Every day, Walton visits his grave at Chesapeake Memorial Gardens. Walton makes fresh flower arrangements. The time and effort is the least she can do to honor Jimmy's memory. She makes sure all the flowers are in the urn, tied down and labeled. But almost monthly, decorative items disappear. Last time, it happened on Valentine's Day. When I'm having that really horrible day and I just need to just like feel at peace, this is where I come. And when you walk up here and it's not there, like I said, it's just heart wrenching. Walton asked the funeral home that owns the cemetery if they had other reports of theft. They tell you that there's nothing that they can do and that it happens and they're knowing that it happens and there's nothing they can do. It's like, well, wh what do you do? Today, a funeral home worker told 10 on your side it's impossible to monitor who visits each grave. The worker said they don't have security cameras or widespread theft. The cemetery attributes missing items to spring cleaning and the elements. All 12 of these urns were empty. In no way, that was the wind. Not satisfied, Walton filed police reports. She is determined to find whoever stole from her husband's resting place. He would make it his mission to do that, especially if it was me on the other side. The Holloman Brown Funeral Home declined our request for an on-camera interview. We also called Chesapeake Police, though. They patrol that area, and after we brought this to their attention, they told us officers will contact the funeral home about the theft. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.